it's Erica over at The Broken Spine. Welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time here, thank you for stopping by. As always, if you like the content here, please make sure you click subscribe, hit the bell to be notified of new content, and be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Up. I said in a previous video that I was going to be bringing the question of the day back. And today's question is, where would you like to travel to? So uh, I am, I used to travel a whole lot before I had to do adulting things. So I don't travel as much as I as much as I used to, but uh, one of actually it's two places. Two places that are on my travel bucket list are Australia and New Zealand, and a big part of why I want to go there, obviously, because it's they seem like beautiful countries, but more specifically because they apparently have some pretty good whitewater rafting. I love whitewater rafting. I like to do, I do like to do adventurous things, like I go rock climbing and I mean, just whatever. I don't know what's going on with my hands here, but anyway, so um, yeah, I'd like to go to Australia and New Zealand for some whitewater rafting. Maybe get in some camping, some zip lining, some, some rock climbing, some a little whatever. Um, so yeah, that's that's what I would like to do. So where I would like to go. Let me know in the comments below what where you would like to travel to. And on to today's video. If you didn't know, March is Women's History Month. It's one of my favorite theme months because as as you know, I work at a bookstore and it it's we're always recommending books. The customers are asking for our recommendations and this is prime opportunity for me to recommend female authors with strong female protagonists and to get as many of those books into customers' hands because, as you know, women... Women need a little uplifting in the literary community, so um, this is this is my prime opportunity, and I and I do a lot of um, authors of color because obviously authors of color need a little more of a boost as well. So. I, this is this is a prime opportunity for me, and I take full advantage of this opportunity. So I have a TBR. It's a small TBR for Women's History Month. This is going to be a pretty pretty short video. I'm only reading three books, and uh, I'm I'm really hoping to get to them. Uh, my next class starts in two weeks, and I looked at the um the syllabus and and all of my classes are accelerated there's a lot of work to be done in a short amount of time i'm hoping that i can get these three books read so um yeah why don't we just jump right into it so here so here so here are my three books one i've already started reading <laughs> Yay! So, and the one that I started reading is Becoming by Michelle Obama, and I actually have this on audio. I really enjoy listening to her read this, so I'm probably going to listen to it on, especially on my commute back and forth to work, because that's, um, depending on the traffic, can be anywhere from a half an hour to an hour. Um, so I think this, I think listening to her r tell her story would be, especially in the morning, well, not necessarily, in the evening to rush hour, would be, um, would be very calming. So um, I am, I'm excited to get this done. The next book that I have was actually on my Blackathon TBR 
but I wasn't able to get to it because of all the things that were going on my work schedule my class schedule and just some other personal things that 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 happened in the month of February so I'm definitely going to get to it during Women's History Month and that is Tomi Adeyemi's Children of Virtue and Vengeance I've read Children of Blood and Bone I did that last year blew through that and I've heard good things about Children of Virtue and Vengeance and I'm excited to get to that so yeah this is this isn't as as hefty as Children of Blood and Bone, but it's still almost 400 pages. Actually, it is 400 pages. Um, 408 pages. I'm excited to read this. And the last book on the list is N.K. Jemisin's The Obelisk Gate. I read the fifth season uh, with, my, with my book club, and I... It was part of my Blackathon TBR as well. I loved the fifth season as well as my and as well as the folks in my book club. So we decided to go ahead for our next book club meeting and read the Obelisk Gate. There's a question mark as to whether or not we're going to read the third book for March as well. Not a fan of doing that, only just because of my my schedule. But if the rest of the group says, yeah, let's do it, then I will, I'll knuckle under and I'll do it. But I'm not, a, I'm not a fan. I'm excited to get into this. It's a little bit shorter than the fifth season. And I've, I've heard, again, nothing but good things about this book. So that's it. That is my TBR for the month of March for Women's History Month. And I'm super excited to read all three of these books. Thanks for watching. And again, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me and hit the bell to be notified of new content. I'll see you guys later. Bye.